elevation data is the basic data source that we use. Um, with the LiDAR data, we've been able to do much of the work that we might do in the field on a computer and identify landforms in great detail. So what happens is one shoots many points of light at a surface and then a cloud of data comes back and they have to interpret that cloud. So you have to filter out the vegetation that it hits, the buildings that it hits, the roads that it hits, and the earth that it hits. And you separate all those categories and from that you can develop a map of say the bare earth or the vegetation or, or some other feature of interest. As geologists we're immediately drawn to the bare earth and so that uh, is widely used as a basic data for all of our mapping needs. One can set up a camera on a tripod in front of an outcrop or in a quarry and measure in great detail everything on that outcrop. Um, or you could put a LiDAR unit on an unmanned aerial vehicle and fly over a small area, collect a lot of data, or you can mount it in a helicopter. That would get you a little bit further away from the ground, so you can cover a larger area, perhaps not in quite the same amount of detail, or put it on a plane and cover a much greater area in somewhat less detail. In the scientific community, uh, there are several projects right now with uh, um, NCSA on the Arizona campus um, to try to develop methods to manage all this data because the data sets that are developed in LiDAR acquisitions are very large and we would like to be able to study large areas and that requires huge competing resources. The Natural Resources Conservation Service of uh, the USDA is very interested in LiDAR and they are acquiring um, large areas. We hope to be able to help them develop a process to interpret that data uh, on a computer to delineate landforms which are fundamental to their soil research. Um, it's also used in precision agriculture where they have these very high resolution elevation maps and then farmers can determine where to apply fertilizer or seed density or those sorts of things.